In 1990, Nissan introduced the Maxima, touting it as a four-door sports car. As a result, it attracted the attention of driving enthusiasts, resulting in profitable sales. Yet since then, the Maxima got steadily bigger and heavier, losing its sporty edge. But with the introduction of the all-new 7th generation Maxima, Nissan is returning to the formula that propelled the original to success, once again calling the Maxima a four-door sports car. Most of the fun will come courtesy of a significantly improved V6 engine featuring 290 horsepower and 261 pound-feet of torque. It's still front-wheel drive and power is transferred through a continuously variable transmission with manual shift control. The suspension is independent on all four wheels with four-wheel anti-lock disc brakes and standard 18-inch rims. 19-inch wheels are optional. The new Maxima also looks sportier than the previous generation. The new car has a shorter wheelbase, but wider track, giving it a low, hunkered down appearance. Up front, flanking a rectangular grille that would look right at home on an Infiniti, there are lobster claw shaped headlights that are sure to be controversial. Nissan has clearly taken criticism for its recent cheap feeling interiors to heart, as the new Maxima looks and feels high quality. Notable options include leather seating, a twin panel moonroof, a Bose audio system with an iPod interface, and a hard drive based navigation system. Fully loaded, the Maxima approaches near luxury car status, and with a return to the sporty character it once had, buyers are likely to respond with spirit.